superhero um, mascara. Brows are by NYX. Blush is by Elf. The highlight. I don't know. It's a highlight I got in Ipsy, you guys. I don't know. Um, and the concealer is LA Girl. I actually did pretty good. Like, y'all know I normally don't do this. I did pretty good. But anyway, so let me stop rambling. I feel like I'm rambling. But I'm going to get case and then we'll come back to you. See how that goes. And like I said, I'll try to get some footage in my room to let y'all guys let you guys see what I'm going through. Oh, and if you saw my hair, well, you'll see this video. At the beginning of this video, my curls were like super tight. Now they're falling some, so as you know. But they're still it's still curled, so and this is the hair that I had before when I had the middle part. So it's not new hair, it's the same hair. But anyway, yeah, I'm rambling now, so I'll be back. Baby girl. What are you doing? Got your clothes halfway off. Oh, I was tired. So yeah, we're gonna do that and I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry. And I feel like I need a nap. I need to record a video today. I need to record a couple of videos because I'm behind, you guys. I haven't posted a video since last Wednesday or something like that. I'm not supposed to be posting every Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Mm. I need to get together. But I'll be back. Bye. All right, what up, subbies? It's your girl, Courtney Cullen. And we're back for day two of Back to Work for Mommy. Uh, I guess Chris was into it today. Yesterday, he was like, no, I ain't talking on the gosh dog on camera. I ain't going to talk to y'all. So, yeah, day two of going back to work for me. Taking Casey all the way to Brownfield, 20 minutes away. Um, Yeah, I'm driving a long way before we get to work. Like, I got to drive 20 minutes away past my job. But then, come back to my job. But, yeah, we're doing that. Um, I... <laughs> I was able to do my face again this morning. We are a little bit late this morning, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. That may have been me. Because uh -huh. I went to sleep. The alarm went off at 5, and I went back to sleep. So that's on me this morning. But, yeah, we got it. We kept cracking this thing. EJ just asked me for a dollar for a candy gram. So I wonder who he's sending the candy gram to. Christopher? We'll see. We'll see. They will see. Will you tell me after they pass out the candy grams who you send the candy grams to? Yeah. Okay. What you got, Phoenix? Yeah. Oh, and today, in case it turns two months. So, yeah. Y'all can see the school back there. Can't really see the front of the school back there. But yeah, we made it, so I'm getting ready to go in and hopefully I can get on camera again today. See ya. I'm at work. Oh, something on my lens. Y'all see that? Anyway, I'm about to try to make a copy. Okay, so this is makeup that's been on since about 6 o'clock this morning and it's 4 o'clock now so and I was now so 10 hours again it just started getting real um shiny it just started getting real shiny or whatever the case may be but anyway I'm really coming to you guys to talk about work like I really wanted to go back to, I'm not going to say I really wanted to go back to work because I kind of didn't. I really wanted to be at home with Casey, but at the same time, I love what I do. I love teaching. I really, really love teaching. 
but the thing is it is really hard to just teach here um i don't know if that's everywhere i don't know if it's just this generation of children i really don't know but i'm not enjoying myself at all like Like, when I say I'm not enjoying myself, you guys, I'm not enjoying this. Like, today, I had to really yell at those kids, and it's just like, I try to do everything but yell at them. I try to talk to them nice. I try to give them incentives. I try literally everything except for yell because I feel like everybody else is yelling at them. You know, my biggest thing is... Understanding each child and what they're battling and how to make their lives easier and help them want to learn and help them learn. But it is very challenging when these kids have gotten it already instilled in them in the fourth grade that they don't care or a school don't matter. Like, when will they care? So, my question for you all to have children or work with children or... I don't know, just anything dealing with the children of this, this generation. Do you think they will get out of this point where they don't care about their education? Or is this a parental thing? Or is this a bad schooling thing? Maybe they're not used to so many nice teachers. Or maybe they're just used to everybody always fussing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it at. I don't know. Like, it's on the day two. And I see exactly why I was so stressed before I left. Why everybody thought that I was going to go into labor early. Why everybody, why I thought I was going to go into labor early. Why I think I'm already the way that I am. And I've only been teaching for three years. Literally three years this month, February. I don't um, It's depressing. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I don't know if I've talked a lot enough. But it's depressing that this is where we are. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, I'm back at work. Um, today is my day to work after school. So, I am back at work. So I can work my hour. My son has been like so big boyish. But yeah. Alright, I'm going back in here. I'm about to do powder my nose or something. So I won't be so shiny. And then, yeah. yeah. Alright y'all, let me tell you, my son just said he threw out the, boot, the, the bird poop on the car was <clears throat> a bullet hole in the car because we got them type of haters. We do not have those type of haters. No more. Never. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about you guys. Y'all, my throat hurts so bad I feel like screaming and crying like a little bitty baby. Can you just I found out how much money we got left. We're gonna get the kids first, Crystal. I'm not going that way to get food and then had to come back this way to get Kaysen. Kaysen is at my mama's house. They just said they was at the house. I said they had the house. She had the house with mom. Oh, I did say she had the house with mom. She had mama's house. Godly. Semantics. You see how my son doing me? They just semantics. It's just words. Just words. I just like, I'm just too logical. You too what? Logical. You sound like Brian. You sound like Brian. Brian, if you watch my YouTube video, he sounds like you. Understand? All right. So we're going to get Casey and the Phoenix, and then we're going to find food. The Phoenix. The Phoenix. And then we're going to find food. Because we have to eat. At least they don't have to iron clothes. All I gotta do is take baths. Yeah. And I'm gonna take some medicine and drink a bar. Yeah. Talk to y'all later. What it do? It is day 
three yeah. of me going back to work. Today I did like a little light beaches. Um, I actually did the powder foundation this morning, eyebrows. I forgot to set my eyebrows so they may look a hot mess. I went kind of bold with the eyebrows this morning because I got on the glasses. <clears throat> and I really put the glasses, um, kept my glasses on today because I feel like I'm getting sick and I don't want to infect my contact lenses. You know that you can infect your contact lenses if you wear them while you're sick. Yes, honey, you can do that. Um, yeah, it's day three. We are actually... A few minutes behind, not too far. I'm supposed to be at work at 7.30. It is now 7.31. And I'm only like two minutes away from school. So we're not that late. We did good to not leave the house on time. Like, we left the house so late this morning. But we did good to get there and still only be a few minutes late for work this morning. And like I told you, I have to drive um, 30 minutes, basically. 15 minutes past my school and 15 minutes back. And then pass my school again to take Phoenix to school. So I'm bypassing my workplace twice before I actually get to work. Um, I didn't come earlier when the kids were woke. Christopher is knocked out. It's something by the car. But I think that's my fault. We used to put him in the car when he was younger <clears throat> and drive him around to get him to um, go to sleep. So now he's kind of programmed to do that. So every time he gets in the car, he goes to sleep. But anyway, like I said, <laughs> I'm only two minutes away from the house. <clears throat> I have to do some um, redecorating of my room or whatever the case may be. Just basically make my room look nice. So I probably will not pump. Doing my planning period, I probably will be in pain. But it would be worth it because then when I pump at 11, there will be more milk. And my room will look nice for a district walkthroughs tomorrow. We have to wear this shirt that she gave us while I was pregnant, right? So I'm like, hey, honey, can I get a medium now? Because I don't have that belly to put this on right now. So, yeah. um, I am actually pulling up at my school. Like, I don't know. Here this is that. That's my school. I don't know if you can see it or not because it's real foggy today. And the other teacher beat me, so my park is gone. That's how I know I'm not on the time that I normally want to be at because my park is gone. But it's all gravy though this morning. Like I said, I'm not that late. Christopher! Christopher, get up. Let's go. Okay, so I'll come back to you guys and let y'all see something that's going on. What it do, YouTubers? It's your girl, Corinne Nicola, and we are back. This is day four of me being back at work. Yes, it's Thursday. I've made it to almost Friday, you guys. Almost Friday. Um, We have this your walkthroughs today. Oh, wait. Before I tell you what we got to do, y'all, I done made it four days of beating my face every morning and making it to work on time. Like, <laughs> the girl got it going on. Yes. Like, you know how exciting that is? Four days. A B and B every morning, like who, who is in my parking supplies? Anyway, anyway, so today we have district walkthroughs at our school. I think they do them every other year, every two years we do a district walkthrough. So we have district walkthroughs today. Saying come around and see if we're doing all the things that we're supposed to do in the schools. Um, we'll go up some. Yeah, so we have additional walkthroughs today to see if we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing at the school level. And we had to wear this. This is our camo shirt. It says Operation Best, Level 5, to be public. Because it thinks this is the fifth year that the principal has been here. But yeah, so I'm ready to go in. Christopher is always sleep. I got y'all know that. Phoenix and Kate are gone, so we'll come back and talk to you later. What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Claire Nicole. Got the Christopher in the back with me. We actually made it to work early on my early day. Like, earlier than when I was supposed to be here. Did that make sense? I like, can't talk. Like, <clears throat> I got to get it together so I can yell at these children. Though. What you think, Christopher? So it's HBCU day at our school because we're doing Black History Month. I have on Tuskegee University, so you know what my son has on, right? 
Tuskegee University. So anyway, I'm here. I'm about to get ready to make some cough. Not cough. I'm about to make some Theraflu because I'm sick. All right, you guys, we made it through the week. I can barely talk. I don't know what happened. Um, I managed to kind of beat my face a little bit every day, like, this week. And make it to work on time. I feel accomplished. Like, I can be mama, teacher, and superwoman, like, all at the same time. Yes, your girl did that. So, I'm going to put this vlog together. This is going to be a week of me going to work. And yeah, and then it's the weekend, so you guys know I'll rather do a vlog with my mommy and my daughter. If we do something, if we don't, then you guys know, hey, don't chop it up to the heart. Just know that sometimes things happen. So you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I love you guys. Bye.